What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. First story of the day is about the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. We have a few stories on this phone. Let's first talk about who's going to be the carrier of choice for this Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. Drum roll please. With no fanfare, no surprise, it will be Verizon and it will not come on any other carrier, it looks like. It'll come out with for Verizon and then you can buy it directly from Google again and that's it. Um, kind of unfortunate, I would have liked to see this phone come out um, for T-Mobile and Sprint and AT&T so people can buy it on a on a plan with them without having to you know buy it through Google directly or, or buy it on Verizon and then bring it on to their carrier. I, I, again, it's unfortunate. I think they would have sold more units. Obviously, they're not going to now. It's probably going to be the same sales figures, more or less, as last year because of that. A lot of people still don't buy their phones directly from the manufacturer. They get it directly from the carrier still, and that's still the majority of sales here in the United States anyway. Um, it, the phone will work on all the carriers, most likely, like it has in the past. But again, Verizon is the exclusive carrier, and then if you want to buy it, and even if you buy the Verizon phone, it'll work on all the carriers it's basically the same exact phone as the one from directly from Google the other interesting news coming out of uh, Google is that the OLED display that'll be on the notched or the bigger pixel 3 XL and the notched um, remark of the display was mentioned in this report multiple times so it looks like a foregone conclusion that the pixel 3 XL will have a notched display in it, uh, good or bad, however you look at that, uh, will be made by LG again. LG made the display last year with the one that had some issues. Hopefully they figure some of that stuff out if it, they don't have those issues again. It, it should be better. You would think it'd be better. It's going to be a second generation display at this point, you would think, especially being a year later, you would think that Google would push them hard to not have those issues with the display, but you never know. Uh, but yeah, LG, a lot of the stuff's looking the same as it did last year for exclusive carrier Verizon, OLED display from LG, and then uh, also the last bit was a render that uh, a guy made up for the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL. And just starting off at the bottom, because I know a lot of you guys are going to freak out, you see that huge uh, lip at the bottom, but it does have stereo speakers and that's why it has that there, so it should have a loud thumping uh, speaker. Other than that, uh, the notch display, I mean, it looks nice. It doesn't, I don't think it looks ugly, ugly, but uh, you know, would I like to see a straight bar go across? Probably, yeah. But otherwise, I mean, it looks pretty sweet. Uh, as a phone, it looks a lot like last year's phone, just a little bit more refined. And then last, the, the one on the left, the Pixel 3, looks almost identical to last year's phone. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy S10. I know the S9 just recently came out, but it looks like this is coming from multiple stories. Galaxy S10 has been confirmed, and I put that in quotations because obviously uh, Samsung hasn't officially come out and said this, but all the stories are saying it's been confirmed that the in-display fingerprint sensor will be in the Galaxy S10. It will be made and implemented by Qualcomm, and it will be called an ultrasonic sensor. This ultrasonic sensor works by transmitting an ultrasonic pulse against the finger to map the pores and ridges that are unique to each fingerprint. This lets the sensor collect additional depth data for accurate 3D reproduction of the fingerprint to ensure higher accuracy, and supposedly this is the most accurate fingerprint sensor underneath a display. Now, since this is supposed to be the most accurate in-display fingerprint sensor, it's supposed to be more expensive. It's also supposed to be uh, more harder to get because I guess Qualcomm's one of the only companies that does make this. So it, I, I think everybody will be fine by the time it comes out in terms of getting it. I don't think there'll be a shortage of these phones, but just keep that in mind. The phone will probably end up costing more than it did last year. Uh, kind of sucks, but if you want newer, you know, cooler technology, you always got to pay the price. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, what do you think about that Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL? Um, we know a little bit more, or at least we think we know a little bit more about that phone. What do you think about uh, that render that leaked out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you down the road. Peace.